foods and flavors. Today I am going to show you how to make egg biryani in a very simple way. We are going to use lot of spices, herbs which will make this biryani very flavorful and aromatic. So let's get started. To make egg biryani, first we will do the basic preparations. For this I have already boiled and peeled the eggs and with the help of toothpick, I will prick these eggs like this so that all the spices and gravy go all the way to inside which will give nice flavor to eggs. And now I will take my mortar and pestle and I will crush few spices like bay leaf, cinnamon stick, small cardamom, big cardamom, cumin seeds, cloves and peppercorns. We just need the coarse powder like this. And I will take this out in a bowl. And now let's make ginger garlic paste. For this here I have 8 to 10 pieces of garlic and 1 inch piece of ginger. I will make coarse mixture of it. You can also do it in mixy but make sure you keep it coarse. This is also ready. I will keep it aside. And now I will thinly slice these onions. It will become almost one and a half cups of onion. I'll just open them up little bit so that they are easy to cook. Today I'll also be using some chopped tomatoes, fine chopped coriander leaves, few slit green chilies, some chopped mint leaves and a small piece of lemon. And now let's switch to the stove and make biryani. For this I have already heated the pan at medium heat and here I have added half cup of oil to it. As the oil gets hot, I'll add boiled eggs. We'll cook these eggs till they get brown layer on top. I'll turn them couple of times in between for even cooking. As you can see eggs are golden brown. I'll take them out in a bowl. And in the same oil, I'll add sliced onions. Mix them and spread them evenly and cook till they become nice brown. Once they are half done, I'll add slit green chilies and ginger garlic paste. Mix everything and spread them on the pan and cook again till onions are brown. Saute them couple of times to avoid burning. As you can see onions are nice brown in color. Now I'll add our coarse masala which we prepared earlier. I'll also add a half teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and mix everything. And to this I'll add chopped tomatoes, mix them well and also add salt at this time. I'll mix everything again, cover it and let it cook till oil starts to separate from masala. Now you can see that masala is leaving oil. I'll add 1 fourth cup of thick yogurt or curd. Mix it quickly otherwise curd will curdle and will not taste good. Now I'll add our half of the mint leaves and coriander leaves. Give it a nice stir and let it cook for a minute. Now I'll add eggs. Mix everything together. Cover and let the eggs cook in onion tomato mixture for some time. I'll reduce the heat to medium low so that masala does not burn. Eggs have been cooking for about 2 minutes. Now let's check them. This already looks and smells so good. And now I'll add biryani masala. You can use any brand available at your place. Mix it well. And now it's time to add rice. I have already washed and soaked 2 cups of rice for about an hour. Before using I strained all the water out. I prefer using basmati rice in biryani as it has particular smell which goes very well in biryani. I'll also add rest of the coriander leaves and mint leaves. Mix it well. And let the rice cook with masala for a minute or so. 
I'll saute it couple of times with gentle hands and make sure that you don't break the rice grains. Now I'll add 4 cups of water. Mix everything. And at this point I'll check the salt. I think I need to add little more salt here. Mix it well again. And increase the heat. And wait till it starts to boil. You can see bubbles in the water. Now I'll cover the biryani. Reduce the heat to medium low. And let it cook on dumb for almost 7 to 8 minutes. Biryani has been cooking for 7 minutes now. I'll gently stir the biryani once. Cover it again. And cook it again for 9 to 10 minutes. Here make sure you do not overcook the rice, otherwise rice will turn mushy and biryani will not taste good. It's about 9 minutes. Let's check it again. I'll take a fork and fluff the rice gently. Here make sure you do not overcook the rice, otherwise rice will become mushy and biryani will not taste good. We will cook rice only till it is 90% done and at the end we will leave it on dumb without heat. That will make rice fully cooked but not mushy. And now I'll switch off the heat and let it rest for 5 minutes. Now biryani has been resting for 5 minutes. You can see how nicely it has come up. And you can also see every grain of rice. And it smells so good. And it is also fully cooked. I hope you like this biryani. Do try it sometime and let me know how it comes out. If you like today's video then do comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also share my recipes with your friends on WhatsApp and Facebook. I'll see you next time with one more new recipe. Till then, take care and bye-bye.